Hello, and welcome to our series. Of course, as you all know, we are talking about every single Congress in American history, starting with this one right here, the very first one, the first Congress. I mean, yeah, what else would they call it? The Congress Beta? Yeah, they don't. <laughs> um, so anyways, this Congress was in session from 1789 to 1791. Yeah, I know, it's uh, two-year intervals, so it's kind of the main theme about Congress. Whether you're a senator or a representative in the House. So, a few key things we will talk about in this series is, of course, how many sessions, uh, the membership of each, of, uh, yeah, each House, um, who the Speaker of the House is, who the president of the Senate is, and the president pro tempore, as well as one interesting fact that happened in America during the time of that Congress, or a major event politically, I should probably say, or, you know, just a fun fact during that time period in general. So, I managed to do that. Surprisingly. <laughs> Woo. Uh, okay, so we're going to start out with the sessions. How many sessions were there in this Congress? Three. Yeah, three. Uh, I didn't write down when these didn't when these happened, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be the thing about the sessions about the series. Uh, I don't have time to actually put down when each session was, because that's too much time on my hands. <laughs> I'm a busy guy. <laughs> So uh, just to simplify, I'll just put, I'll just say how many sessions there are. If you want to know when each session was, something called Wikipedia. Look it up. I don't have time. Anyways, the House of Representatives. Um, the way how we're doing this is we're doing it based on the end of the Congress of how many they're supposed to be. As you all know, in the House, it's. Uh, members of the House of Representatives are based off of a state's population. So, in the state's population in the late 1700s, you know, after we won our war for independence against uh, the British, um, the grand total of members of the House is 65. At the end of this Congress, we're doing them based off the end of the of each Congress, like I already said. Um. The Speaker of the House was Frederick Muhlenberg. He was a pro administration. Yeah, there were two parties, kind of. They're kind of like beta parties in a way, which brings up to House membership. All right, so we have the pro administration, which is, you know, they believe in a strong central government, and the anti administration, which believes in a, you know, a, a they believe in a big government, but has kind of loose ends. But they'll end up turning into two different parties later on. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, we in the House there were thirty-seven pro administration pro administration uh, members. Uh, for the anti administrations, we have twenty-seven, and there was one vacancy. So yeah, now we move on to the Senate. As you all know, the makeup of the Senate is that each state gets two representatives. It's kind of what it's kind of what we call the upper house. The Senate's the upper house, the house is the lower house. The upper is kind of a more elite, you know. Every of it's kind of the principle of one state, one vote, as the founding fathers uh, decided at the Constitutional Convention. Two years prior to when this Congress began, in 1787, 
which is also when uh, the Constitution was signed and ratified. Um, and the House is based off of a state's population, obviously. You know, makes sense that way. That way, you know, it's all locked together. Checks and balances, in a way. So anyways, since there were 13 states, you double that and you get 26. So who was the president of the Senate? Well, just like what it says in the Constitution, the vice president of the United States is the president of the Senate. And who was, pre who was vice president in 1789 to 1791? John Adams was. At this time, he was a pro-administration. So, yeah. Uh, the president pro tempore was, which, as you know, or might not know, the president pro tempore is, for simplified clarification, is a high-ranking member of the Senate, usually someone of seniority-type le level. So it is Senator John Langdon, spelled L-A-N-G-D-O-N. And he, too, is from the pro-administrative, uh, I guess you could call a party, but once again, they're kind of beta parties. Um, so membership is uh, 18 pro-administrations and 8 anti-administrations. And now, it's time for the fun fact of the Congress. <clears throat> or during the Congress, whatever you want to call this. It's part of the video. Um, this was when, obviously, 1789 was when this guy, George Washington, becomes the first president and gives, his first, gives the first ever State of the Union address. Which, for this year <clears throat> of 2019... Trump gives his on Tuesday, the 29th of January, which is a day that a Congress video will be up. Which one will it be? Tune in and find out. Speaking of which, that's all we have for this episode. Stay tuned for tomorrow on the second Congress. Stay cool, stay tuned.